speak and we'll hear you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the three scriptures that uh, I'm, I'm going to try to put them all together for you in, in a short period of time. Um, 2 Peter 2.19 While they promised them liberty, they themselves are ser the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same he brought in bondage. Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Galatians 5, 1. Galatians 5, 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. The title is, This is My Exodus. This is my exodus. And if you read and you know the scripture, uh, exodus is when the children of Israel were freed. They came out of slavery. And um, we know the story. I think they were there over 430 years in captivity by Pharaoh. And they were made slaves. Uh, some of the punishment and some of the things that they went through was just unbearable uh, that the Pharaoh had put them through. And so they were in captivity. And they had prayed and prayed and prayed for freedom to come out of captivity. And so the lesson today, we're talking about uh, exodus coming out of captivity to our freedom. Uh, much of our personal life and experiences are similar to those that were in captivity. Many of us in captivity with a lot of things. We're slaves to a lot of things. Uh, but God has called us away from that and freed us. And we have to stand fast in that freedom. Uh, there's various types of bondages in our life. Uh, uh, in this case, they were made slaves. And Pharaoh wouldn't release them. God sent Ten plagues. And every one of the plagues he ignored. He kept kept them. How many of y'all know that the devil liked slaves? Huh? How many of y'all know? Pharaoh wouldn't release them. Finally, the last plague. <sighs> the last one killed his son. He said, well, I guess I'll let him go now got to get close to you before you get a reaction. I'm exactly up. <laughs> I guess I'll let him go now. Yeah. And so they, he, he let them, he freed them, let them go. <laughs> but the, the thing about it, after he did that, he got mad and wanted to go back and get them. So after he let them go, he went behind them. How many know the devil will come behind you and try to bring you back? He'll come behind you. He'll, so he went back. He went. <laughs> he went after he had let him go. He got mad. I let him go. Uh, I don't, the devil get mad. He don't want to let you go. So in, in this uh, parable, he went to, to bring him back. By that time, they had hit the sea. God had opened up the waters, sent them across on dry land. Pharaoh saw it and thought that, that, that he could do the same thing. So he sent his troops in the water, 
And all of a sudden, the water come down. The devil want us to stay in captivity. God called us to freedom. God calls us to freedom, and uh, he wants us to live a life of purpose. Don't care who you are, how old you are. Don't care what you are. God called you out of darkness for purpose. God wants you to live a life of freedom and purpose. Uh, there's parallels between Israel and between us. We all got our journeys. Some of us are being held captive by many things, many things, finances. Uh, we, we're being held captive. We're not free. Uh, I don't know if you ever wonder why it's so hard to push a service, so hard for us to come and throw up our hands and magnify the Lord. So difficult because some of us are battling all week. We're not free. Our journeys are very similar, very similar. Uh, but God come to redeem us. The scripture in Ephesians 1, 7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin in accordance with the riches of God's grace. He come to redeem us. There's no need to be a prisoner anymore. There's no need to be a slave anymore to any of Satan's devices. Huh? There's no need. Uh, God have divine guidance. Israelites, they were led by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. But God gave us the real fire. He gave us the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says it will lead you and guide you in all righteousness. So just as, as the Israelites had a pillar of fire, God sent us to fire. And not only that, uh, uh, he put it inside of us. He dwell inside of us. This is the exodus bondage. We're coming out of slavery. We're coming out of sinful habits. Uh, uh, we acknowledge that we all have sinned and we all fall short. Uh, but we, we, we want to come out of those shortnesses. Hallelujah. We want to uh, walk free in the spirit. Uh, we want to uh, gratify. In the, we don't want to gratify the flesh, uh, fleshly desires. Uh, we want to uh, put down those sinful habits. The Bible says lay aside every sin which so easily besets you. Uh, you can't run with a bunch of weights and bricks on your back. Uh, you need to be free to run for the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, materialism and greed ain't going to help you. Uh, <laughs> these type of things are bondage. Uh, we got to have the best. We can't go because we don't have the best. I can't go to church because I don't have a new pair of shoes. I don't have a new dress. I don't have a new suit. So I can't go to church. Uh, materialism, they, they, that's not going to cut it with God. Uh, God expects us. He expects us. He's looking for you. He's looking for your praise. He's looking for you. He's looking for your shout. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Uh, he wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear you praise him. Uh, he wants to hear you shout the victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. But we have these hindrance and these slaves, uh, things that holds us back. Uh, we have unhealthy relationships with folks. 
that's just totally unhealthy. Uh, don't be deceived by these bad companies, these, be, these bad folks. We know folks ain't no good for us, and we entertain them anyway. Uh, we follow them anyway, and we know God don't want us following folks that's crooked and crazy. Somebody shout amen. But we, <laughs> but we, we get into these bad relationships uh, and uh, many addictions that we suffer uh, in slavery. We are slaves to addictions. Uh, but God said he can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And God ain't going to give you nothing he can't and you can't control. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. You don't have nothing that you can't control through Christ. Through Christ, you can do all things. All things. Well, but we have to believe. We have to have faith to believe that God will do what we want him to do. We're not slaves to anything. We're not slaves to any habit. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Uh, unforgiveness can be a big problem in our lives. That's why we have to forgive folks and move on. We don't want to be, be a slave. When you and I'm mad at each other, then something is wrong. Uh, something is wrong. Somebody is not free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, I'm not paying you back by not speaking to you. I'm hurting me by not speaking to you. Somebody say amen. Uh, <laughs> we got to forgive, be kind one to another. Uh, Sometimes we realize I, I've been struggling lately on this so-called job I got, and, and the Lord just let me know these folks are just really in bad shape. They're in bad shape, and ain't nothing you're going to do unless you witness to them and be a light to them. And, and, you know, and so every now and then when the subject come up and I can squeeze something in, I go ahead and do it. You know, because you're talking to me, you know. You know, you're not allowed to save us so much on the jobs. But when they come to you and talk to you and say something to you, you got a right to answer back. I'm a, somebody say amen, because I ain't no slave. Uh, I'm a free man. Somebody shout glory. <laughs> so I answer back uh, when they do that. But these things binds us. Relationships, they binds us. Pride and arrogance. I would, but I ain't going to let nobody Pride. The Bible says it comes before destruction. Yeah, when you get lifted up, when you get lifted up in pride, arrogance, it ain't good. It ain't going to help you. That's a bondage. False teachings. Everybody teaching something now. Radio, TV, I never heard so much. I used to think it was good that the gospel was going to be on TV and be spreaded. And I said, well, it's good. Gospel going to be on TV. And we'll have some religious programming. But what a mess we got on TV now. They teaching all kinds of stuff. And if you ain't careful, you'll fall into that bondage. I turned the, the, the thing on the other day and I heard somebody teaching that uh, God owe you. <laughs> and I, I, I'm sitting here going like, for real? You know, God owe me? <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that, that's, that's confusing. You owe God, if anything. But they was trying to say because you give money in the church, God owe you. God don't owe you because you give. You ought to do that. When he came down to ties, he said, that you ought to have done. So all this strange teaching that makes no sense at all, it's not even scriptorial, and we're teaching this type of stuff, and the saints are finding themselves falling into this stuff. That's a bondage that God doesn't want you in. I'm almost through. Uh, God doesn't want you in that kind of a situation. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom. All is righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. God knows everything you need and want before you even thought of it. 
And he ain't no deadbeat dad. And he ain't no bad husband. He knows everything you want, everything you need, before you even think to even ask him. Why are you praying and begging? He already done, done it. Somebody shout glory in here. Many of us don't have a prayer life to fight bondages. We have to pray. The Bible says in Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. We've got to pray that these bondages, that we don't fall into some type of slavery situation where we are slave to stuff. We don't want to be in no spiritual bondage, struggling with spiritual addictions to craziness. Sense of separation from God. Some folk go to church and say they got God. I say, say they got God. And they're separated. But we don't want to be in that kind of bondage. We don't want to have that kind of physical separation, spiritual, from God. So God wants us to know that our hope is in him. Our deliverance is in him. And we are no more bound by Satan and his devices. We're no more bound by uh, the crookedness of this world, but by the spirit of the Lord. We come, uh, God gave us the spirit that we are able to be free. He set us free, and we're free indeed. Somebody say amen. amen. Um, so we are not in the, the, the bondage stage. We're coming out. This is our exodus out. I refuse to be bound again by anything. I refuse. This is my exodus. I'm coming out of this. Uh, I'm coming out of this bondage that I have on me. Uh, whatever this bondage is, I realize it's holding me back. And I've got to come out of bondage. Somebody shout amen. amen. I've got to be free to worship him in spirit and in truth. I've got to be free to talk to him and speak in tongues and, and let the Lord use me. I've got to be free. I cannot be in bondage any longer. Uh, the children of Israel came out of bondage. And they, they, they came out and God brought them out even though Pharaoh tried to come and put them back in bondage. But let me tell you, when you got God, nobody can put you back in bondage. Can we say amen? When you got the Holy Ghost, nobody can do anything with you. They can't put you in no bondage. Only if you allow it. Yes. Only if you allow it. But when we save and we got the Holy Ghost, the Bible says it's going to lead us and it's going to guide us. Um, uh, I heard in Sunday school this morning, the teacher was talking about how the Holy Ghost stops us from doing certain things and just come in and shut you down. And you, know, you, you, you forgot what you were going to say. <laughs> you were going to get her told, but you forgot, you forgot about it. <laughs> You 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 go straighten it out, but then you you somehow or another it slip you. Holy Ghost shut us down uh, because we are to live a certain way. We should not be bound by anger and false spirits. We are to live a certain way in Christ, and Christ expects that from us. Somebody shout Amen. I, I'm I'm almost through. Uh, uh, so in this crossing the Red Sea. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Uh, he will fight for you. He will protect you. He will lead you. He will guide you. There is no need or no reason for you to be in bound. You should not become a slave to anything. There's no need because you have heaven's best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the song say, I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound, no more chain. 
is holding me. My soul is resting. Just another blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free. Clap your hands for freedom this morning. <laughs>